Do y'all know how many people have told me? My cousin, one of my favorite people on the planet, very spiritual guy, very, very spiritual guy. He actually has had encounters with angels. And I go to him for like, like to get some clarity sometime on, you know, spirituality and just making sure I'm always humble. And I just stay connected to him. He said, Brian, I prophesied you having that years ago. I said, really? He said, I'm gonna prophesy something else. That ain't gonna be where you live. That's just gonna be all your business. You gonna live somewhere else. I said, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, Brian, you're not gonna live there. Y'all do know I thought I was living there, right? <laughs> he said, he said, Brian, you're not gonna live there. He said, that's just one of your, that's one of your projects. He said, you're gonna build your amphitheater, you got the water, you're gonna have the tree houses, the Airbnb. That's just gonna being acres is gonna be where people frequent. You're not gonna live there. I said, okay. Where I'm gonna live. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I'm prophesizing. My whole point, you guys, is I talk to people who vibrate at a certain level, keep a certain pitch and frequency, and when you're dull and not doing nothing and vibrating low, you just don't, ra you don't radiate with us. You don't. That's why people who vibrate low quit the business. See, a lot of you guys think a person quit the business, it means your business don't work. No, it means they not vibrating at your level. You may want to put that down somewhere and write that down. When a person stops the business or when a prospect doesn't do the business, whatever you want to consider disappointing, it just means they're not vibrating at your level. So why you keep beating yourself up? You keep beating yourself up trying to get people to vibrate high when they vibrate low. Then what's going to happen, you keep hanging around them, you're going to start vibrating low. They didn't change your frequency. Now you're starting to say stuff like, I don't know, man. Brian be talking all that stuff, but it's, you know, it's, it's working for him though. And I know, I know uh, Krista getting went from bartending to, you know, 280 to $400 a month. I know Charles bought his house and everything, but you know, it's working for them because they got in early. Oh, early. Oh, my fault. So you in late. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. You got to get mad at us instead of saying in two years, I'll be making five figures a month too. In two years, but see, Kevin Hart's first statement was, "You can't be taking these shortcuts." So y'all, yeah, everybody heard the plane in the end, but you didn't hear the opening statement where you know people want to go around and, and look for the shortcut. Embrace the the journey. Yeah, I know. You know, I know Shana doing her thing, and I know Kwana got a five figure check, and uh, you know, never done this in her life, and she approaching this and that. And I, I know Chuck do this, you know, part time, but but that's them. Oh, okay. So our success now has become the reason you can't do it instead of you going where well, they did it and it was harder for them. It's harder for us. We had to map it out. We had to make the mistakes. We had to master the comp plan. We had to uh, erase all the doubt and skepticism. We had to put the company on the map. We had to do the first corporate convention. We had to retract. We made some mistakes. We had to go back. We had to revamp the back office. We had to come out with 2.0. We had to change the comp plan. We had to revise the comp plan. We had to fire a business partner. We had to, oh, and all you got to do is come in and just roll. Okay. Dream big.